Uh, my name is Andrei, and I'll be presenting harvesting boarding passes. So the idea came up to me when I was once doing uh, some check-in from uh, hotel lobby workstation, and I was thinking like, hey, a lot of boarding passes should be floating around the internet, right? So I think everybody of you used these uh, boarding passes, and most of you or 100% of you use online check-in and have digital boarding passes, right? To, to a certain degree on your mobiles or usually as PDF formats, even though they sometimes replace you at the gate with uh, things like this. So given the privacy concerns, so uh, mobile tracking is like science fiction maybe, but something which is on the paper or on a PDF and floating around the internet can give uh, a lot of details like about privacy stuff about you. And given the concern, people should be like more oriented towards securing their private details. And given the fact that everybody is like pushing now the online check-in process to minimize the operational costs and so on and so on and the con convenience from uh, hotels or home check-in, so this is becoming a big trend and it's already a big trend of doing online check-in and uh, digital format uh, boarding passes. And what we can learn, we can basically learn uh, for example, a given uh, traveler, uh, what uh, his airline preferences is, and what uh, this can help us, we can estimate his budgeting, or we can estimate uh, other things, like uh, what, what uh, he, he, he likes to travel with. Um, and the other things are, for example, the frequent uh, traveler's uh, numbers. For example, WikiLeaks document uh, mentions uh, White House uh, directive to govern uh, frequent travelers of high rank officials. So it's like a very interesting number to, to find on the boarding passes because it's usually printed on the boarding pass. So frequent traveler give number gives a lot of details and access to other things. Other details which uh, you can, or uh, intelligence gathering guys can uh, extract is for example preferred hours of departure or uh, coming back and so they can learn scheduling of a, a specific person without doing uh, standard uh, uh, surveillance. The other thing is like uh, what routes uh, a usu usually a person exposed operates. And this includes like inbound, outbound connections on preferred uh, routing all over the world and usually it's not very random. <coughs> and other things is like given a, a set of uh, boarding passes, you can actually see no matter where the person travels, he always comes back to a given location. So you can uh, infer or deduct where the person lives currently or he is mostly based, right? So for example, in this case. Uh, other random ideas is like reconstructing or predicting a track for a given person. So you have a target and you want to know where he'll be going. So give, having statistical data on him, uh, from boarding passes, uh, you can actually predict or reconstruct a track to a certain degree of uh, <coughs> uh, correctness. Um, or you can actually try to impersonate <coughs> a given person by whatever means, uh, checking, checking in, uh, in, uh, on the name of the target and impersonate the target as, uh, as if he or she will be flying like that. Uh, other things include like you can Give, given the ticket number or uh, frequent traveler, you can do some check-in cancellation on various uh, systems. It's not allowed on all the systems uh, of online check-in, but it's still possible. Uh, you can, for example, Im uh, do group check-in impersonation. Uh, it can be useful for uh, private detective services. For example, if there is a group check-in of a person, a male and female, they can deduct like uh, marriage cheating uh, cases and so on. <coughs> so it's private details. Uh, people don't want these, maybe leaked. <coughs> or uh, poison the leaking. Uh, so basically you use Google Dorks, right? And <coughs> I came up with a short list which actually people can contribute because there are plenty of airlines, plenty of systems. You, you just do a Google Dork search and you find lots of details on various file uh, sharing uh, or file hosting systems or blogs. <coughs> so uh, I've tried to summarize for KLM and uh, Lufthansa, basically, and uh, here are some, some lists. And on the next slide will be uh, a longer list, but basically KLM and Lufthansa I, I see as big ones, so I've tried to target these ones. 
However, if you put some effort into getting the words, as you can see, they are very predictable because they are generating from various reporting systems. So these words, you can try to fuzz them and uh, find various PDF documents uh, with this internet check-in, boarding, or so on and so on. So you get a lot of uh, results. <coughs> the first takeaway is you have to secure your sensitive data or the sensitive data of your client or whoever you manage. And if you fail to do this, then you should not be winning around that somebody is tracking you because in the first place you're leaking your sensitive data in the first place, right? So this is one very important takeaway. Second is like <coughs> try to contribute uh, based on your online checking experience. Contribute with Google Dorks because it can help others to check their own uh, exposure, so to speak. <coughs> and uh, basically, the last takeaway is use it for your own testing. Don't stalk on people because, first of all, it's illegal and it's harassing and so on and so on. So you, you understand the implication. And the idea is to just do it on your own details to make sure you are not exposed. <coughs> and I think that's about it. This is the last slide. And I have, if there's a quick question, maybe. If not, somebody will be counting me now. OK. Thank you.